Hi everyone. Today we are looking at the Flying in the Wind event. So this is an event that is uh, coming together with the Lunar New Year event. And it's basically a match to memory game. What you need to do is to get dandelions and you get them by getting your active points reach up to 400 at least this isn't so bad previous events demanded that your uh, active points got to 500 and that can sometimes be a reach um, especially if you have no more buildings that you can easily churn or no more evolutions that you can easily churn and you can get more of the dandelions also by going to the limited pack section. You can spend diamonds directly on the dandelions. You can purchase three, set, three sets each. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to do a demonstration. Alright, so that's 15,000 diamonds. Ouch! Alright, if you are into spending real money then uh, of course if you buy um, insects proper insects or even just a packs then you will get more dandelions and uh, you get more tries at the game all right so basically we have a four by five um, grid here and there are therefore 10 uh, colors to match. The thing about the match tools in other games is that they are usually time limited and you are forced to use your memory to remember what it is. Uh, but with this game on the ends, it's not really that much of a challenge because you could always go slowly and write things down what you are limited by the number of tries you are limited by is the number of dandelions uh, that you have so for example all right this is a blue and this is a purple and i'm going to write down on a uh, notepad that the first two are blue and purple the next one this is a uh, teal and a white and that's teal again and then uh, that should go back to this one. Oh no that's a green actually yeah and this is yellow and uh, red hmm no that the previous one was pink this one is red blue no was that green or was that blue all right i think it's actually green oh wow my screen is horrible that was a blue so that's actually where the challenge is is an identification of the colors and is that now a green i think that's a green now nope that was a teal that was horrible yeah okay now we have that and i think this is a pink and that should be matching that one and this is a purple matching that one and this is a yellow that goes there and an orange we don't know where that is and a white white was up here and this is a dark blue oh lucky there and this is a red I believe this one was the red and uh, the green and finally the orange Alright, so for spending the 
dandelions and completing each match you get uh, match points and then you when you complete the whole grid you get uh, full 71 match points so that gives you 80 points for every uh, tree that you sorry so for every grid that you clear you get like three um, sorry 80 points so when you get to the threshold uh, then you'll get more get your points to the threshold then you'll get some uh, fixed rewards uh, the accumulated points can also be spent in the point store uh, for items all right and uh, this is where it becomes a cash players game all right you don't really want to uh, spend your points on diamonds because you basically spend 15,000 diamonds to play this every day and uh, after three days uh, the number of points I have is 240 so that's um, diminishing yield of uh, diamonds uh, resources are also uh, not very worth it because you can get them via other means you produce them yourself you can build farms you can attack other players uh, you can gather, you can kill insects there are many sources for resources alright so the good stuff is of course as usual uh, at the top uh, but as usual it becomes quite expensive because uh, if you have been doing this every day and you manage to clear one, one grid a day you will have uh, seven cleared grids and that should bring you about uh, to 500 560 points or so and you should be able to get the two star lucky orange inside egg this is a free player attainable uh, but there's just 560 points uh, anything much higher than that you will actually need to spend money and buy packs for more clearance chances and if you make mistakes like I did with the color ident identification um, uh, or if you are depending on your memory and uh, you don't really write down the um, colors as they come out then uh, you will uh, be spending more than Deloins on playing the game alright so let's say you are willing to spend money and you will support the game developers um, then uh, you have the options to choose your poison uh, up here alright uh, top of the list we have the new beetle the new insect which is a stack beetle it's a guardian specialist insect attack defense much speed combat speed guardians ends receive the effect of being healed guardian and health special and skill attack when leading guardian ends defense invasion attack invasion defense and guardian ends damage let's have a look and see how that differs from our good old spider Do I even have a spider? Yes, I do. Alright. Alright, a full star one has Guardian and Attack, Defense, March Speed, Combat Speed, Health, Skill Attack and Defense, Invasion Attack, Invasion, uh, Defense and Damage. Alright. So the main difference there was that there was something in the new for the new inside. Uh, that had got to do with that had to do with HP so you have that with uh, receive the effect of being healed right 
uh, and this is something that uh, the spider doesn't have. And of course, the thing about getting an insect through the event is that it starts off, you get straight away get it at 7 star. This might be worth using if you actually run guardians, or if you plan to build a guardian march. Uh, but if you're focused on uh, carriers or shooters, then uh, I would give the stack uh, this. Right, because if it means you have to uh, focus all your research again into a different class, then um, you rather stay true to your course and uh, trust that eventually another event will come out and there will be a carrier specific or a shooter specific event for you. Alright, the next one at equivalent value is a skin, 100 skin fragments, and it will get you the Mighty Tiger Fragment and uh, that will increase Soldier Ends buff defense 2% and, um, and then you have your Proata Fragment and uh, the White Velvet Fragment so you can acquire these ends uh, via, the, uh, via the event Let's have a look at the details for the Pro Ata and White Velvet. The Pro Ata has a Guardian specific end. It's range so that's good for the middle or the back row. Right, skill 1 I expect it to be quite standard, skill 6 also. And this one increases um, uh, attack, defense, and uh, guardian and damage. Alright, 3 is defense, 4 is attack, uh, and uh, number 7 is health. Alright, for the active skills, we have uh, 4 range combat skill as the second skill. Okay, so it does both damage. It's not a very high amount of damage here. Um, but it is combined with a 70% uh, dodge chance. Alright, so this is this will keep your troops alive longer. Skill 5. Uh, this is a high percentage chance to do a triple attack. Each attack randomly selects one enemy within the effective range to deal 55% um, damage. And if it goes all the way to the back line, it reduces the enemy's attack. So it's a high chance for multi-attack, but uh, each attack is not very high. Um, but, it, but if you combine the three attacks together then that's actually if you consider that um, 3 by 55 is 165 percent damage there um, and it has full range you can go you can put the proata at the back and you can hit all the way to the back line of the uh, enemy unit on top of that it does have a mitigation so you reduce the damage that the enemy can deal to you. A very good skill. And let's see what skill 8 has. Once again, another um, uh, five, 5 range uh, skill. And it will hit 3. Right, deal 81% to all enemy squads in rounds 2, 4 and 6. And uh, what this means is there's not a chance to deal damage, it's, it will deal damage. This is a 100% activation, um, uh, activation end. If the targets are shooters, the damage will be double. So this is an anti-shooter uh, damage dealer. So shooters are a bit too popular right now, and uh, the Proata 
if you are looking to counter uh, shooters, you bring on the guardians and the Proata is the uh, damage dealing guardian ant to do that. Alright. But he's, he's expensive to get, alright. Um, yeah, but definitely p packs a punch for the Guardian team. The White Velvet is a universal end. Uh, it's under this class as support. Um, as usual, skill 1, skill 6 are quite standard. 3 is defense, 4 is attack. Uh, skill 7 is uh, attack boost. Alright. Skill 2 doesn't do any active damage, but it will increase the health. Skill 5 will heal your unit. And skill 8, uh, for the first 4 rounds, all squads take 30% less damage from attacks. Uh, two random squads will be healed with each one with 65% healing ratio. Alright, so uh, White Velvet uh, is like um, the healer of the bunch, uh, increases their own HP, will buff the HP of, um, of the troops during the uh, the battle and uh, you also mitigate damage from uh, attacks all right so in terms of damage output he's like guard general uh, does no damage but um, in theory in certain setups may help to keep your troops alive longer and uh, if your troops lose less health or stay alive longer they might just win the battle all right Okay, back to the event of flying to win. Okay, so uh, yes, the rewards. All of these, you'll probably need to spend uh, do spend some money to acquire enough uh, points to collect. And if you want two copies of the end, then you need to uh, get like three thousand. Um, 3,000 frets for the Pruata or the White Velvet if that's what you want. If you want all of them, that means the, um, the skin and the insect and two copies of the Pruata, two copies of the White Velvet, then you can imagine how many times you need to repeat the minigame in order to acquire enough points. Okay. At 750 points, you can acquire the Night Patron Fragment. So this one was a skin fragment that was given to players during the Halloween event. And uh, I have that. Alright. And the Halloween event made it such that you could get 80 fragments of that skin for free uh, but the remaining 20 fragments you had to buy you had to spend quite a lot in order to win uh, to get to the guaranteed swap for the skin uh, If you want it, it's nice, the skin buff is, is good, but uh, likewise, if you do p p purchase this, uh, then uh, uh, and you had previous fragments from the Halloween event, then uh, you have a balance of 30. Alright. Okay, uh, realistically for free players, what you should do is you should probably be looking to purchase the um, purchase this box here which is the uh, special end uh, fragment 
that you can actually choose a special end to swap for. Uh, as a general, I think isn't that rare, but uh, all of the above, so Shikari, Banshee, Velvet, Animatic Taylor, and Mimicry Masters, they are all good special ends from the from the newer release. And it might be hard for players to acquire uh, some of these ends uh, or, a co or a duplicate copy or a triplicate copy in order to do star up for the end. Uh, the fragment and the fragment box, you need not commit to opening uh, to any specific end. Let's say you may be undecided, you may need um, you may need, let's say, uh, Taylor or Shikari. You are waiting on a on a duplicate for one or the other. Uh, you buy the box and you hold on to it, but you need you need uh two hundred fragments anyway in order to get to uh, one of them. But you buy and you save the box. And uh, if let's say eventually you 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 hatch a tailor, then the box you can uh, use your safe box and actually get fragments for shikari. All right, so free players are out there playing the long game should probably purchase the fragments, and then uh, if there's any leftover um, the packs for. Cell nucleases and DNAs and uh, enzymes are worth it. Only for very very new players would you would you say probably think about getting the CRs or the spores. Um, uh, primary foliage basically is a scam. Uh, make use of your stamina. Maximize what you are given for free. Make sure you have your um, uh, pack light. Sorry. Rest well. Best rest um, tech uh, researched. Uh, but generally, don't really bother with stamina recharge. Alright. So, yes, this is for, your, for the Chinese New Year. It's a different event. It's a different way to play it rather than just collecting the tokens and tapping uh, tapping the Christmas tree or the or shaking a bush to get uh, rewards uh, yeah the matching is fun but the closeness of the colors uh, is a trouble it's a problem right and uh, as usual the rewards, uh, will be basically encouraging players to uh, spend off on the occasion. Alright, and uh, if you do choose to spend, then thank you very much for supporting the game. If you can't or don't want to, then uh, let's play the long game and pick the smart, pick the smart uh, purchase. Alright, is it worth it? Fragments for probably thirty thousand diamonds for one pack of fragments. Uh, most likely not. But the question is, where else are you gonna get your fragments? Also, the question is, if you are really short of CRs, where else are you gonna get more CRs? Right, your income from other sources are limited. Right, and uh, fragments of special ends, especially these ones, uh, don't come by that easily. Right, let me just show you the fragments that I have on my special ends. Hold on, this is for purchase. Right, after many 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 months of collecting, I only have 11 Jack Jumper fragments 
and that's like right from the start of the game I haven't even redeemed a single one you need 200 in order to get a copy right so uh, the previous event when that was given there was this extraordinary um, uh, extraordinary selective special end fragment so if I was after the JJ is JJ or more fragments for JJ then I will actually open this one uh, if I was after Taylor or maybe Cream Master which I don't have or an extra copy of Banshee then this combined with uh, one more of the pack that we have uh, available over here uh, if you do a few more of these special events and collect determinedly to acquire let's say Taylor and she in between alright uh, do a few more events and then you eventually collect enough to get your hands on the end right you need 200 it's a lot 10 10 times and let's say if you get one day one of each you get to 300 points or let's say 450 points you get three three sets so that makes it 60 fragments well it gets you a good good deal of the way there but uh, picking up uh, these rare fragments uh, you don't really get them otherwise the colony actions only tend to drop the regular regular fragments so none of the new ends really show up as fragments and quality action all right so that's actually a very long video now uh, about the flying to in wind event happy chinese new year to all those who celebrate and for those who don't then um, uh, enjoy the event anyway uh, and thank you everyone for watching and uh, have a good day bye bye